Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. In this video, we are going to see the steps to migrate the Decision Center database when upgrading from ODM 871 to 8104 when using Oracle as the database server. ODM 8712 is installed and the applications are deployed on WAS 85514. From the WAS admin console in the data source configuration, we have used the default decision center JNDI name. The data source points to the Oracle schema for ODM 8712. We can see the existing data in the tables inside the schema. We can also check the business console to see the existing rule projects. ODM 810.4 is installed and the applications are again deployed on WAS 85514. From the WAS admin console in the data source configuration, we have used the default decision center JNDI name. The data source points to the Oracle schema for ODM 810.4. Currently, there are no tables or views in this schema. We will be creating those from the enterprise console. Upon first login to the Enterprise Console, the Installation Settings wizard shows up. This wizard allows us to create and run a script that will create the tables and views in the 8.10.4 schema. We will now check if the tables and views got created successfully. All the prerequisites have been completed and now we can begin the database migration. There are two AND tasks that we will use to generate scripts for this database migration. The first one is the gen migration role and task, which creates a SQL script that grants the required privileges to the database user referenced in the data source. This and task takes in a number of parameters. Run the AND task to generate the script. Check the generated script to ensure that it got created successfully. We will be using the execute schema AND task to execute these SQL scripts. This AND task takes in a number of parameters. Run the AND task to execute the role migration script. The second AND task is the gen migration script. It creates the SQL script used to copy the old database content into the new schema. This AND task takes in a number of parameters. Run the AND task to generate the script. Check the generated script to ensure that it got created successfully.
run the AND task to execute the migration script. Check if the data has been migrated successfully. In Business Console, check if you can see your rule projects. Your Decision Center database migration is now complete. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.